Yes, guys, big up everybody. Welcome back to Clock Talk TV. It is a massive game. Liverpool, who travel to Everton, Goodison Park. This game deserves no introduction. This is a massive, massive game. The opening day of December, Liverpool will go to Everton and battle out the Merseyside derby, the infamous Merseyside derby. But is it approached in the right way? Jurgen Klopp has come out in the past and said why it may be deemed a little bit too far-fetched. And this is just a game of football where maybe teams should take it more as a fixture rather than a rivalry but I disagree I feel this game needs to hold the credentials but not only because it does ensure the bragging rights we need to distinguish what colour Merseyside is and it's not blue oh wait it's a blue cap it's red everything here is red guys big up to everybody make sure you're smashing that like make sure you're smashing the subscribe hopefully by the end of the video we're one step closer to 1.4k so if you're not subscribed yet and you've got an account what are you doing make sure you hit that subscribe button well Everton are coming into this game in a bit of bad form, it has to be said. They've lost four out of their last five games, only drawing one. They've had, they've had, oh, it's been absolutely shocking on behalf of Everton. They have just come off the loss against Brentford, that 1-0 thanks to Ivan Tony. Whereas Liverpool are coming into this game with an unbelievable form at the minute. They've only lost one game this season and their most recent result in a 4-0 win. 4-0 thrashing. Uh, against Southampton with goals from Diogo Jota, Virgil van Dijk and Thiago Alcantara. So, if forms anything to go by, Liverpool are coming into this game with their tails high. And if you base it off a of head-to-heads, uh, 24 out of the 58 times these two have met, but it's ended in a draw. So, it's, it may be one of those games where, we, you know, form goes out the window and we're likely to see a draw. But Jurgen Klopp won't see it this way. He'll see it as a way of pouncing on the fact that Liverpool will need every point they can get during this Christmas period with the idea of the African Cup of Nations still going ahead in February. So that heightened importance is still made significantly higher due to the fact we cannot drop any points during that period. So... What team should we start? Well, I think Liverpool should start this team purely based on the fact that going into this game, I feel this is our strongest team at this current moment in time. I feel Alisson should start in goal. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold on the right-hand side, you know, the assist, the delivery will be important against what will be uh, Everton team who will have their tails up for the most of the game because... Uh, you know, they have that home advantage. But I think Trent will start the game. I think Andrew Robertson will start. I think his performance uh, against Southampton has proved that that he is still the number one left back at the football club and he should start the game. Uh, in centre-half, now, this is a little bit of a balanced one. I think Van Dijk will go alongside Joel Matip for this game. Now, it's an argument whether to put Canate alongside Virgil van Dijk, but I just feel like with the presence of Joel Matip, I feel, number one, he's our best centre-half to go alongside Virgil van Dijk in this football club. And two, I think he suits this game. Obviously, there's no Dominic Carver-Lewin uh, in this game, so that could offer a little bit of a heightened and, uh, advantage for Joel Matty, but I think Joel Matty's game suits these type of games where he doesn't quite have to go into the challenges. And I think Jurgen Klopp will be encouraged by the fact that maybe he doesn't have to go into every 50 50, but instead just have to wrap his long leg around challenges instead of pulling full force and running the risk of potentially getting injured. Well, in the midfield, I've gone for Fabinho with Henderson and Thiago Alcantara. All three midfielders are currently in form. I think Henderson, particularly, has had his performances turned round since over the past few days and um, past few games sorry and the front three I still think Mane, Sal and Jota at the moment that's the best front three in the world to be fair I think that is the best front three at the moment to play in a Liverpool shirt you know Origi, Minamino knocking on the door but I just feel uh, I, th I think this game is for the top quality players because, like I said, form goes out the window in these games. And Everton, although they may have the tails between their legs, seeing the fact that although they had three wins on three in their first three home games of the season, since that, they, they haven't won a game since September and they only pick one, one point from nine points at home. So... In a way, Everton may approach this game with the tails between their legs, try and hold Liverpool out for so long. But... 
Liverpool had the quality to score. They've scored two goals in each of the last 17 matches. So if, if anything's to go by, Liverpool will score this game and they and they will sink Everton's hearts. And there is there's the team news. Uh, obviously, we know that Dominic Calvert-Lewin is set to be out. Richarlison's coming back in off a suspension. Mason Holgate could be uh, is out of this game as well. Tom Davis and Andre Gomez are also out of this game. Meanwhile, Anthony Gordon could be replaced by Damari Gray if he is deemed fit to play this game. And on behalf of Liverpool, the away team travelling to Goodison, uh, James Milner could be a vital part in this Liverpool team. He is available for selection. But there's still the Naby Caters, the Curtis Jones the Joe Gomez's, the, the Firmino's, all that sort of stuff. All the players that were injured for the game against Southampton. Uh, so how do you think, how do I think this game will be approached? I think Liverpool will go full force. Don't change what, what hasn't, what's worked all season for, for Liverpool. And I think they'll go for it. I think they'll try and put the pressure on early on. You know, last time that we play, played Everton, it was a very controversial game. Virgil van Pickford. You had the Henderson moment at the end. You had the Thiago Alcantara collision with Richarlison. Controversial game and it's not refereed by David Coote this time, thank goodness. My score predictions, I think Liverpool win this game 3-0. I'm saying convincing because Everton have been just really poor since Rafael Benitez's appointment. That honeymoon period has seemed to end and it's ended in dramatic fashion. And I expect Liverpool to pounce on that opportunity, get the job done and get the three points. Let me know your score predictions down below. Let me know any changes to the starting eleven you would potentially make. And guys, I hope you're all having a brilliant week. It's the start of the week. It's the last few days of November, November 2021. So savour the moment, enjoy every day. I'll be on a watch along uh, on Wednesday. So tune into that if you want to, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Merseyside is led, and I will see you all next time. Come on. Virgil van Dijk will get his revenge. Clip this up now. See you, boys.